101. Jesus, you know how the soul engulfed in darkness moans in the midst of these torments, and despite all this, thirst for God as burning lips thirst for water. It dies and withers. It dies a death without death. That is to say, it cannot die. All its efforts come to nothing. It is under a powerful hand. Now the soul comes under the power of the just one. All exterior temptations cease. All that surrounds it becomes silent, like a dying person who loses contact with everything around it. The person's entire soul is in the hand of the just God, the thrice holy God. Rejected for all eternity. This is the culminating moment, and God alone can test the soul in this way because he alone knows what the soul can endure. When the soul has been saturated through and through by this infernal fire, it is, as it were, cast headlong into great despair. My soul experienced this moment when I was all alone in my cell. When my soul began to sink into this despair, I felt that the end was near. But I seized my little crucifix and I crushed it tight, clutched it tightly in my hand. <coughs> and now I felt my body separate itself from my soul. And now I wanted to go to my superiors. I no longer had the physical strength. I uttered my last words, I trust in your mercy. And it seemed to me that I provoked God to an even greater anger. And now I was drowned in despair. And all that was left me was a moan of unadulterated pain, which <coughs> from time to time tore itself from my soul. The soul is in agony. It seemed to me that I would remain in this state because of my own strength. I could not emerge from it. Every recollection of God opened up an unspeakable ocean of suffering. And yet, despite this, there is something within the soul which is drawn to him, though it seems to her for this only that she suffers more. <coughs> the memory of the love with which God formerly surrounded it, still another kind of suffering. His gaze pierces it, and everything with the soul is burned by this gaze. <coughs>